proud to be here at the Hope Christian Schools. Over the years, it's been my pleasure to be here for groundbreakings, for ribbon cuttings, and even check presentations. I've heard choirs and speakers and even been a part of a tasting for food here. It's what I see, though, when I see the impact of the young people here on the quality education they get that really sparks my interest and my excitement for the greatest amount of hope for the future. These students will be the leaders of our community and our county, and the fact that they're doing so well is a positive sign for the future. I have great hope because of them. I have great hope because of all of you. Thank you for hosting me here this morning. All too often we hear about negative news in our community. Sometimes it's about our schools and challenges we face in this city, in this county, and in this state. These challenges are real. Today, however, I want to start by reporting on some of the good things, the positive things that are happening in our county. These are the things that give me hope for our future. A year ago, we saw over $1.1 billion worth of new construction in Milwaukee County. And this should be a year. In 2007, our airport broke the all-time record with over 7.7 .7 million passengers. And readers of a national travel magazine ranked Mitchell as the fourth best airport in the country. These are good signs for our economy. AARP, the magazine, did a story on five great places to live and listed Milwaukee as one of them, in no small part due to the work of our Department on Aging. Our family care program served some 7,500 older adults with long-term care needs and still generated a surplus. And our nutrition program provided more than 463,000 delicious meals and I know, because I've eaten at nearly every site years ago, 2007. The headlines shouted out bad news about the Milwaukee Public Museum. County Board Chairman Lee Holloway and I stepped up and appointed a financial oversight panel and took control. Our team then worked with a recovery committee to put things back into place. I want to thank Valerie Daniels Carter, Mike Felbel, Mike Grieby, Jennifer Noyes, Carol Skornica, as well as Mary Meehan and the members of the oversight committee and Dan Finley and the museum staff for their amazing work. We stuck our necks out to protect the museum and it paid off. Overall, plenty of good things took place during the past year. It gives me hope about the future of Milwaukee County. Still, we have some significant but The violent crime rate continues to rise in the city of Milwaukee. This is unacceptable for the city, for the county and for this entire region. If people don't feel safe in their homes, at work, or in their neighborhoods, nothing else matters. Public safety is my number one priority because it trumps all other issues. Our 2008 budget includes support for the Sheriff's Target Enforcement Unit that will continue patrols on the lakefront and expand coverage to our parks and other places across the county. In fact, we just transferred funding for new vehicles for that unit. We will also work with the Community Justice Council program to replace the old system of checking in Huber offenders at night with a new GPS system that will track them every hour of every day. Once a judge sentences someone to work release, we need to know where he or she is 24-7. In 2008, we'll also work to implement a program to involve more churches and other faith-based organizations with young people in the juvenile justice system. They need the support to keep them out of trouble. While juveniles who are not a public safety threat can be connected to people within the community, those who commit serious crimes must be waived into adult court. State legislation that would raise the age in adult court from 17 to 18 would be a serious blow to fighting crime, and it could cost our county at least $23 million. I will lobby against We must money. work to end crime and to end poverty. I look forward to working with the sheriff, the new police chief in Milwaukee, to make our community safe. And lowering property taxes is an important way to keep jobs in the county. With major players like the Miller Brewing Company making key corporate decisions based on the cost of doing business here, we need to show that we can compete with other parts of the country. Budgets, my proposals have not raised the tax levy from the previous year. I commit to doing that again. 
And even though all the members of the county board and I sometimes differ on the size of the levy, we have changed the terms of the debate. When I arrived, budgets were increasing almost 6% per year. Now, even with the increases enacted by the county board, the annual tax levy is just a little over 2%. That is progress, and it gives me hope that we can do even more to control costs and lower taxes in the future. While we're working to make things more affordable, we're also restoring pride in our county. Quality services and financial responsibility can go hand in hand. Many of our people and our businesses cannot afford higher taxes, yet so many of our programs are vital to our quality of life. We should demand greater innovation from our government to balance the two concerns. As an example, I will seek to increase the hours of work in the park system by using seasonal employees for entry-level work and the number of public-private partnerships like the Starbucks in Red Oak Park. In addition, there will be plenty of improvements in the parks in 2008. Soon, we'll break ground on the David F. Schultz Aquatic Center at Lincoln Park, which will be a major water destination on the north end of the county. We also hope to help the Friends of Hoyt Park Pool finish off a capital campaign for a new aquatic center there. The Oak Leaf Trail will continue to grow and new splash pads will go into place at several parks across the county. Along with caring for more older adults, we hope to expand family care to people with developmental and physical disabilities and we'll work with the state to make that a reality. And now that we've established a permanent commission with the City of Milwaukee, we will work to add more housing options for people with special needs throughout the community. In addition to housing, we want to create an environment for more job growth. In 2008, we'll push to build the UWM School of Engineering on the county grounds and to preserve the Eschweiler buildings as a part of that project. The Milwaukee Regional Medical Center is a major economic engine for this region, and building a new school there will be like pouring jet fuel into that engine. I want this region to move forward on a way to dramatically improve the transit system. Our bus rapid transit plan will connect people with an exciting new system of hybrid buses. Used successfully in nearly 20 other urban areas, this technology can reduce travel times, increase riders, and improve environmental conditions. I hope that we can move forward and build a consensus around this plan in 2008. And we will continue to restore pride in our county by strengthening the ethics code, creating an internet-based system to increase the transparency of government, and blocking an increase in pension or payroll benefits. It's about time that everyone realized that government is here to serve the people and not the other way around. Finally, we owe it to the taxpayers to keep an open mind to ideas that can save money and provide better services. It has worked well in the past and now we should be more aggressive in our efforts. This is how we build true hope for our future. I know that there's a great county government here with many, many outstanding people working in it. For too many years, however, the scandals prevented the rest of us from seeing the good that is within. Working together, I am certain that we can reveal that greatness once again. I believe in the people of our county. With a positive agenda, like the one outlined here today, we can make that dream a reality. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah.